The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. Say, ain't we kinda young compared to the others here? They're all involved with Shido, yeah? They seem to be major figures in the political and financial worlds. On whose permission are you sitting there, brats? Whose? Uh, I don't see any reserved sides or nothing here. It'd be a nuisance if you'd make a racket next to my table. I wish to dine leisurely. Children like you who are simply hungry should leave! What was that? Skull, be quiet! <sighs> Sorry. I apologize for our discourtesy. If you understand, then go home. Excuse me, but might you be Mr. Oe? Indeed I am. This will be an impudent request, but would you provide us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? From the looks of it, you appear to be minors. Why do you need an introduction? We wish to be granted an audience with him. His political ideology resonates so much with us. Of course, the same can be said about you, Mr. Oe. You have quite the silver tongue for one so young. Not that I mind it. Are you a high school student? Yes, sir. Speaking of high schools, I've heard that some principal somewhere kicked the bucket. He supposedly tried to leak Mr. Shido's name. <sighs> Had he simply obeyed, he could have remained in the upper echelons. To think he would cast all that away. An elite such as myself can't even fathom why someone would do such a thing. If you pledge your loyalty, you're given the honor of selecting those who would have mental shutdowns. Did you ask Mr. Shido to trigger a mental shutdown in someone as well? Hmm? Ah, more or less. Considering your caliber, I would assume that the target must have been someone quite important. <laughs> important? No. The target himself was nothing that impressive. Oh. You must be being modest. You recall the subway accident early last spring? The one I had targeted was that engineer. That was you? It was to take out the president of some company and a diplomat who sided with current government. I see. That was very useful, Mr. Oe. Hmm? Actually, my sister is a prosecutor at the public prosecutor's office. I could pass on what you just said to her. How about it? Won't you give us a letter of introduction? Is that a threat? Who are you two? The letter of introduction, please. Don't get cocky, brats. I'll never give you one. Looks like you have one, though. Well, guess it's time to use brute force. Guys!
All right, we got a letter of introduction. Please keep the truth of that subway accident a secret. Fine. In any case, it turns out Principal Kobayakawa was connected to Shido after all. No wonder he was so adamant about me digging up information on the Phantom Thieves. Still, I can't believe Shido just killed him so nonchalantly. The entire nation is underwater in his palace. He must feel nothing toward one measly educator. In any case, even though that politician was cognitive, he turned into a monster. Up until Kaneshiro's palace, cognitive beings were nothing more than weak presences. No. That Oe fellow just now wasn't a cognition. Hmm? But he had the memories and appearance of an actual person. He was probably a shadow fused with a cognition. It's like making the shadow wear human skin. I've never seen anything like that before. Such power is normally impossible. Wasn't Shido the one who destroyed the research done by Oracle's mother on cognition? Oh, do you think that when he did, he took the results for his own purposes? Shido. For all we know, Shido could have some hidden trick that allows him to tamper with his own palace. We need to be especially careful from here on out. Yes, of course. I will continue accepting them, even after I am inaugurated as Prime Minister. <laughs> as expected from you, Mr. Shido. You are truly a reliable man. And in return, I only ask for your continued support. Standing up to the world does require money. Of course. I'll make sure to prepare compensation as thanks for your help in cleaning up. The incident with that accident in spring was very beneficial. This is all thanks to you, sir. If the study of cognitive science progresses, I believe it's possible to increase the target range. <laughs> I bid you good luck with that endeavor. I hope you will continue to assist us. Oh, hold on a sec, you guys. Looks like we turn back when we leave the affected range. It's not really a big deal. It most certainly is a big deal. Explain what just happened to us. It seems like people who Shido views as intruders turn into mice near those Shido statues. Oh, so we're nothing but rodents to him, huh? That's irritating. I agree, but we need to be extra careful when we're in mouse form. We won't be able to open doors, and any enemy we try to fight in that state will beat us to a pulp. So all we can do is hide? I guess we'll have to change to a completely defensive strategy. I hope we can find a secret passage to get through there.
dude. You got a sec? Hmm. Uh, nice day today, huh? <laughs> Actually, maybe not. I, I want to go swimming in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it's your turn, Panther. What? Um, hello there. We really would like to speak with you. We won't take much of your time. Will you listen? Please, sir. Sorry, but please leave me be. I don't have time for you rowdy children. Hey, you little... No, we apologize for our lack of manners. Monskull, we should leave. What the hell's up with that guy? Did he really have to be acting all high and mighty like that? To be fair, you walked up to him and said, Hey, dude, you need to approach this with more tact. Starting the conversation with a quarrel won't get us anywhere. Our approach doesn't matter if you won't listen to us. What are we supposed to do? Let's speak to the people around here. Perhaps we'll learn more about that man's temperament. At the very least, we might get some kind of hint. I guess that'd be better than nothing. Well, asking for info it is. You did it, Joker! We do seem to be inside that door we saw earlier, but why? And more importantly, isn't this a fitting room? Just trust me. Wait here and I'll be right back. What's he up to? Oh, I have a really bad feeling about this. It's perfect. <laughs> this will totally work! Skull, you have quite a scary look on your face. Actually, it's creepy. Oh, don't worry about that. Come on, let's head back to where that former uh, noble dude is. Hey, it's you girls' time to shine. I didn't think that we were really going with such a simple plan. Well, there's no way guys lounging by the pool would not check out girls in swimsuits. I want to go home. Are we really going to do this? <sighs> no, it's for our plan. Will you stop saying stuff like that with a straight face? If you guys don't hurry, he's gonna go off somewhere. Uh, hello. It's a nice day, isn't it? What do you want? Um, would you grant us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? A letter of introduction, you say? <laughs> I would never give one to some nobodies like yourselves. A nobody? I've made my decision to only introduce those with a prestigious lineage. No matter how beautiful you girls may look on the outside, your ancestry cannot be changed. Yes, that may be true, but... well... we're... I'm quite charmed to meet you, sir. My name is Ahn Windsor. Ahn Windsor? My father is the descendant of British royalty. I beg your pardon. Seriously? These girls are the daughters of my retainers. Oh, yes. Lady On treats us quite well. Ah, are you half British, Anchan? I am. Your features are definitely different from Japanese girls. One can easily tell at a glance. <laughs> People tend to have such misconceptions, but that isn't true. My hobbies include tea ceremonies. Then again, my father forced me to learn that art. I see. I sense a noble aura that is different from your servants. Servants? Lineage is absolute, no matter how much effort a commoner exerts. <laughs> it is a gap that cannot be filled. 
You're absolutely correct. I do feel a little sorry for these girls. For real? By the by, about the letter of introduction. If you'd be so generous to grant me one, I'll consider introducing you to my father. Oh, hey. Consider it my way of sending my regards to him. Thank you kindly. But goodness, do you look great in that swimsuit. And such an amazing body as well. You look like you could be a model. Oh, no. Did you make sure to put on sunscreen? Hey, um... As members of prestigious family lines, why don't we get on more intimate terms? Excuse me? Come now, you peasant servants should take off. <laughs> You're making her embarrassed. Would you kindly stop this? Want to try on some other swimsuits in my room? Uh, don't touch me, you perv! No! Oh. Huh? Now that I'm done using you, get away, you creep! This guy's a molester! What the? How dare you set me up like this? Uh, it's your fault for falling for such bad acting. Oh, shut up! We're doing this! Persona! Alright! For real? Ha! Uh huh. Uh huh. Ha. <laughs> the letter of introduction. Only three more left! Were you asking Shido for mental shutdowns too? Contrary to past methods, gaining wealth by lineage alone is quite difficult these days. That's why I begged to be allowed onto Lord Shido's ship. In return for introducing wealthy nobles to him, I requested he enact mental shutdowns for me. I see. So this system of introductions is taking place in reality as well. Lord Shido is extremely cautious about the passengers he chooses. So he's screening potential associates to find wealthy people who won't betray him. And that's why the passengers are wearing masks. He isn't deceived by people's outward appearances. In any case, On, your acting skills have developed quite strongly since our nude incident. Just for clarification, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? Good heavens, no. Everything is as written in the reports. I hope you remember the conditions for our arrangement. Support me as best you can, understood? Of course. After all, I am thankful for your aid, Mr. Shido. I'll call in some favors from some old acquaintances and take part in the birth 
of Prime Minister Shido. I'll have you step down if I catch wind of any slack on your end. Are we clear? <laughs> Crystal. I'd rather not meet the same fate as those I've eliminated thus far. <laughs> Good. I don't know.